everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today we received not one, but two brand new trailers to Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And if you've yet to watch those trailers, they're both available here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel. But usually when there is a new Ghostbusters trailer, I do a reaction video. But the way things worked out today, again, with Sony Pictures surprising us uh, with, a, with a second pretty much completely different trailer and all the coverage that was done on ghostbustersnews.com as well as our social media channels. Um, yeah, I've watched these trailers now like a couple dozen hundred times. And I guess I could just act like I've never seen them before, but that'd be lying. And I, I don't want to lie to you guys. So instead in this video, I'm just going to share my overall thoughts on both the domestic and international trailers for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire that were released today. And I think for me, the overall positive is the tone that this film seems to have. I know the filmmakers, they said that they look to real Ghostbusters as kind of an inspiration, and yeah, totally shows. Now, I have heard a few people online complaining, uh, saying Ghostbusters is supposed to be a comedy. Where is all the comedy? Now, now, I don't know what trailer you watched. I mean, I know that, you know, things get serious. This new spectral threat, it's very dangerous. Likely people are going to die in this movie. But there were still some very much comedic moments. I mean, like this. I have it for 40. I've never seen anything like this at all. 60. Huh. And what about this? Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel mm -hmm. good. It makes me feel good. And come on, we cannot forget about the one, the only, Bill Murray with the soon-to-be classic line delivery. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. And I know I may get a little heat for this, but uh, the member berries, they, they, they got a hold on me because I loved the beginning of the domestic trailer with William Atherton, Walter Peck doing the narration. It tied everything back to the original Ghostbusters movie with Dickless seemingly still having an axe to grind. Somehow he still thinks the Ghostbusters, they're shysters, despite seeing the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in the confectionery flesh. Some people, they're just gonna believe what they want to believe. I mean, it's like the Miami alien. Some people, they believe it happened. Others don't. The Manhattan cross rip. Some people believe it happened. Some people don't. Now, as someone who loved Afterlife's Muncher chase scene, I cannot wait to see the Ecto-1 in pursuit of the Subway Dragon through the streets of New York City. From what's been shown, the sequence, it looks incredible, and it's great to finally see the drone ghost trap in action. As well, being that kind of touched on cinematography a little bit there, this could hands down be the best looking Ghostbusters movie yet. Among one of my favorite moments, and I'm sure uh, a lot of you out there, you, you share this sentiment, is finally seeing Janine Melnitz suit up. I, I mean, yeah, it does feel like a nod to the real Ghostbusters. Heck, I mean, this whole freaking movie, again here, it feels like real Ghostbusters, but in live action. As well, I gotta add here, I've talked to a couple of more casual fans today since the trailer it was released, and this has been one of the bigger takeaways. People, they love Janine. More importantly, people, they love Annie Potts. And keeping with Annie Potts, I love the tease, this first look here at her one-handed Proton Wand. Also, we have some of those new upgrades to the Proton Pack, and if we're talking new, uh, how about this new ghost? His name is Pukey, and I mean, he looks like a possessed potato. Is Pukey a possessed potato? A possessed potato that pukes? Oh, and speaking about the ghost, we gotta talk about Garaka. Like this thing, it is freaky, and I mean, I said it in the trailer breakdown video that is available here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, but I'm getting strong 1980s movie monster vibes off this thing. Of course, I've also got to touch on the returning Slimer, who's been shot using practical effects when possible. And I know that we've already seen photos of him in Frozen Empire, but to finally see him in action, moving, sliming Finn Wolf hard, it, it makes me tingly. R really tingly. That's weird. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, Slimer also has uh, Cheeto dust encrusted on his lips. Are they flaming hot Cheetos? Well, likely, but you're going to have to see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire win us in theaters on March 22nd to find out. Continuing with the ghost, this is quite possibly my favorite scene of these new trailers. We have the return of the library ghost. And after all these years, she still has one job to do. And, and that job is, is shh, shh, she, she shushes people. And it also like horrifies them greatly. 
Another big takeaway I have from this trailer is really just a sense of positivity. Again here, with that real Ghostbusters influence, the introduction of this brand new threat, the inclusion of the Ghostbusters research facility, it feels like from this point forward, Ghostbusters, it could go almost anywhere. Like the floodgates, they're about to be open, and we are at like the cusp of, I don't know, a Ghostbusters multiverse? Maybe something like that? I just feel like this, this franchise, this license, there is so much opportunity for it to grow. But of course, that's gonna rely on how well Ghostbusters Frozen Empire it does at the theater when it arrives on March 22nd. Go, go, go and, go and watch it, go and watch it. The only thing I'm left kind of questioning here, and I wouldn't call it like a worry or anything like that, is that this film, it's got a lot of characters to manage. I mean, you've got franchise originals in seemingly much bigger roles, including now the return of Walter Peck. There's also the cast of Afterlife and also franchise newcomers like Kumail Nanjiani, James A. Caster, and Patton Oswalt. That's a lot to juggle while also telling a cohesive and engaging story. But not worried, just a little concerned. But I'll say my concerns, they uh, they, they, they kind of went down quite, quite a bit after seeing these brand new trailers because overall, uh, yeah, it, it just got me really excited for March 22nd. Again, when Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, it, it arrives in theaters. Buy your ticket soon. Uh, I'm not working for Sony. I just really want this movie to do well. So again, we, we get more Ghostbusters, which in turn also means that I, I get I get more Ghostbusters toys to, to collect and you know, video games to play and uh, yeah, movies to watch. Now what I want to know, what did you think about these two new trailers today? Uh, did you have a favorite? Also, uh, was there a moment in either of them that kind of stood out for you? Comment down below, let us know. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below in this video's description. And we'll see you right back here next time. And ladder company eight. Ghostbusters news is the keeper of the gate. Listen up, ghosts. Jason's here to see you your fate. After he gets all the day's updates off his plate. What do you do 